Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another little vlog today. Nothing really extravagant is going to go on, but I'm just outside. It's actually quite mild today, so I decided to turn these filthy machines into some clean ones. Um, that doesn't mean to say I'm going to be making a detailing video whatsoever. I was just letting you know that I'm going to be cleaning them up. Um, because at the end of the week, I'm going to be going to shoot Camper Mart, so um, I won't get a chance to clean them up before that. And uh, I want to install the new wiper blades on this too, that have been sitting in the boot for a while. A mega expensive wiper blades, I might add. So... Just taking a little look inside and that. Uh, it's not too bad in here because it's not getting a great deal of use, this one. Driver side's heavier. Um, but exterior-wise, the, uh, the van has definitely got uh, some hefty film on it from all the salt, the, the roads we've had. And this is even worse, to be honest. Um, this one's being dailied again now, so, you know, it's actually... Oh, there's my coffee. <laughs> you know, I'm never too far away from one of these. Cheers. Tried out the coconut milk with that one. And I'm not going to be buying another bottle of it, but hey, you've got to try some new stuff. So anyway, I'm going to be giving these a clean up. Uh, they're well deserving of it. It's a great day to do it. So I'm going to whip the hose pipes out and do them on this driveway because I usually do them on the other driveway where the taps are because it's a whole hassle to connect up two hose pipes to reach down here. But I think when they're both like this, I'm going to spend a good couple of hours or so giving them a good clean up. So, all right, for everybody that um, quite often asks me afterwards, this Sunday I shall be shooting the uh, Camper Mart video and that's hold, being held at the Telford International Centre this Sunday. So if you're keen to go to that show from the previous ones I've posted, it's this coming Sunday. I get a lot of times after I post a video where people say, ah, oh, I wish I'd have known, etc. So just trying to help you out. But if you are going, let me know in the comments. And are you going with your own van or are you going to look at other people's or both? Yeah, let me know in the comments if you're attending this Sunday. Anyway, on this video, I'm going to crack on now and throw up some snippets of the cleanup. And then um, I got something else to run past you and um, just as a bit of an update. So let me get these vehicles clean anyway, because otherwise I'm going to lose this fantastic weather. So let's do it.
Alright folks, I am back inside. We lost the light pretty quickly because I was a bit dibble dabble and about a little bit today with having some lunch in the middle and then somebody popped over and uh, the kids wanted to do something. So the light wasn't really kind of realistic to the time it took. Um, but anyway, I'm pleased to say that both of them are now nice and fresh with what I deem as a service wash on both inside and out and that's a good way to start the new week. Um, it'll also make life easier on Sunday because I'll be taking it to Camp Mart. Um, I'm not inside because a few people have actually DM'd me and said, will it be inside this year, etc. and it won't. Um, I'm going there just to shoot as I usually do. I will be there, so to everybody that's messaged me, van will be somewhere in the car park nearby into the big main building. I just don't know where it'll be. I have to start that again. Every time I'll sit down and make a video, somebody need me? <laughs> just having a little snack. So yeah, it's going to be outside in the main car park. Or well, I'm not sure where because that will all depend on where they send me when I pull up. But it'll be there somewhere. In other news, I got a new chair. I uh, forked out and um, spent all my hard earned on this thing, which my wife calls it a gaming chair. Um, I think it's deemed as a gaming chair, but for this video we're going to call it my new editing chair because I spend a hell of a lot of time in this chair looking at stuff, making videos, dragging files, whatever in this chair and the old one had had it three or so years and I'd worn it out because the bottom bit was getting pretty uncomfortable and I'm not a chair expert I just thought this one was not cheap and it seems as if you're going to have a gaming chair you're going to be sitting in it a lot and you can make all these adjustments with the back, the pillow's magnetic, the arms move up and down, all that good stuff. And it's quite a firm foam, so I think it might last. It feels good at the moment anyway, but time will tell. But um, one of the other uh, things that my wife said about it is that she pretty much believes it's to do with that. confession I've been playing a bit of Gran Turismo 7 on it and I'm not gonna lie I got a bit hooked again I'm one of those I like driving games and it's a racing sim um, let me know in the comments if you play GT7 I love it and I need to separate myself from it a little bit because um, you just do a race or two next minute several hours have gone <laughs> um, but it is good so uh, I have been hitting that a bit too hard because it's sort of, yeah, I don't have a lot of spare time. And which leads me into the fact that next door in that garage, which if you watched the last video, you know I've got a lot to do. Um, I haven't actually made any progress in there. Today has just disappeared in front of me and I've made zero progress and I was going to do a little bit. And uh, I must get that space cleared down or begin because there's a lot so Gran Turismo 7 is not helping but it is awesome <laughs> anyway um, next video coming up on the channel is going to be Camper Mart that will be out as soon as I've filmed it and edited it so if you are there and you see me come say hi and uh, if not just enjoy the video when it comes out and like and subscribe if you are not already so you don't miss out on it. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.